Nashville, Tennessee. This is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. Khalif Raymond now. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Khalif Raymond on the return. So first and 10 now from the 30. At their own 30-yard line. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the run there. Now they'll be looking at a third down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. <laughs> On first and ten, Joe Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Borough to throw on second down. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. On third down, Burrow escaping the pressure run. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return, and it'll be Titan football. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive, and they're coming off. Sorry, and out, my friend. I don't think you could hear me. I finally put the thing down. I think you could barely hear me. I'm sorry, but I need to see if you can hear me right about now. I hope you can hear me. I'll see when they will talk to you. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better and players. A lot. And maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the yeah. excitement yeah. area. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to see how this defense continues to play oh, him here in the first half. Yeah, we okay. know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in 
at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. He'll get this one in the fourth fourth down of the game. Just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 yards there and a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Tannehill on first down. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two at the Bengals' 48-yard line. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Henry. He's going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals 41. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves his sticks. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Long is one of the games. So far by any team. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He look, look, oh, huge sack. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to what go. What do you do on this play? Another well, try after it. the first down sack. Tannehill dancing yeah. to his left. Well, you know you're playing the Bengals when they almost give up a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So, he's going to take the snap on third and 13. Flushed out right. Flag on the field. It's gonna, gonna be, be on Tannehill. The penalty flag on the field. That was rushing the ball. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's gonna be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? That one sails out of bounds. A side nine judge yard line. There's nine seconds to the left. Nine yard line. Nice punt. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Nobody has scored yet. They've been the closest. Now yet. Burrow on first down. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Pat got 20 for the Bengals. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. 20 for the Bengals. Bayou gets the first tackle of the game. The line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. The throwing has been good, but when did we talk to the floor? From well, the shotgun, if we can't find something, just run with it. But that's a catch. That's 
it up. Push. No, not yet. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball so in his hands. he is gonna... What's he gonna do on third and inches? He's gonna slow it. He's wide open to John Wall. And he is gonna have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. John Walsh is wide open. yards through the air, caught the D off guard on third and one. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's gonna make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. The tackle may give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They keep it on the ground this time. It's Nixon. Oh, oh, that's going to blow it up. At the 46. Six. That was huge. Second and ten. Oh, my so this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. After the penalty, it's Mixon. And no, off and he gets down to the 49 yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked Passing. and turned to the side. Again, a throw down, and it's a catch. Too. Running back by it. He's gonna have a Bengals first down. I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. So how would you describe that one, partner? Workman like right there, getting that first down, blue collar type football. Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. I like Workman like. I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Flush to his right. No. And he's got this down a yard I think that's low. I think y'all going to both run the backs combined. Wind up getting right Just about four uh, there on the scramble. And no way. Second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Second down. Oh, oh almost a the pick. Time I'm manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. The Bengals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Open that it's good at the 24 yard line. And again, that's no scores has been going quickly. This video may actually only be 30 minutes long. And he is gonna have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's the goal for any offense versus his own defense. First find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver the Bengals are upsetting. They did it well the there. Titans executed so crossing route. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. I want to do the video while I'm doing this, but I'm laughing. I saw something really funny. Coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. Before it's all said and done. 11 more on that one and another first down. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes Looking. in the defense. Looking. And he gets a huge sack. 
back at the 26. It's Landry. The third. Harold Landry. And it's never going to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Okay. Catching it. Man open down the middle of the field. They get him to the ground Blow right it on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. An extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Blowing. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. It's gone. And he gets the Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Oh, yeah. Kick. Yeah, kick. Three teams down the field. Nobody has so reached the kick this entire season. For the Bengals field goal. Oh, the fourth the game. This from 37. And Bullock will put this one yeah. through. Oh, down the middle. The kick is. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3 0. <sighs> <Nothing. Yawn. sighs> you can know it's only when I'm yawning. It's 3 0. The sideline stuff. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. Bengals get the but ball at half. Is it picked? Popped in the air and intercepted. He got picked. Picked off here the 29. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Second pick of the tournament. Definitely with some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Cincinnati now ready to take the Not field. Not at what all. What a break here. Turnover late in this first half, and now they're set up in field goal range already. With a chance to get more. So what you're That's telling the second your pick of the tournament the in my this. memory. We've got three in our hip pocket. Don't jeopardize that. Let's attack and go one for the big fumble one here. Let's go in the tournament. Six. It was last game. Really I'll put that half. game in the I mean, link below. Right now. They take over the I'll put all the, the, the two games before this pocket. game in the, the description. You know, this is day four. We have to just gonna be a third is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. 22 yard line after the incompletion. Again, it's Burrow on oh, second it's and caught. ten. And he'll go right back to Green, but this time it's complete. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Fourth he down slows it to the ground. Holds up in coverage. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. A 30-yard attempt. 
Alex kick is good. I can't believe I made the YouTube channel. And I don't even have a foul. Six nothing. Titans nothing. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. Let's t I'm testing. See if you can hear me. Three, two, one. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? After the field okay. goal now, it's that was my pass. To kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Here comes Ryan Tannehill now leading his offense back out there. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. It's caught in by Adam Humphreys. Not out of bounds with a call. The second of their timeouts. I'm the out. Will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now it's Tannehill. It's caught. It's complete to his he did not go out of bounds, I think. Yes, he did go out of bounds. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Out of bounds at the 38 yard line. Throwing again on right. second down. Tannehill. It gets tackled. The, the, the clock is running. Go down here 10 seconds. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be spotted on Wait, the right Wait, we did miss. There was one missed field goal. And did he have enough? Yeah. And I thought it was missed. Trailing now, six to three. They so get ball at half. The half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal. Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Good job by the bank, by the um. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. To return it, Darius Phillips. Returning, and he gets it at 20. With two seconds left, what I call a hail Mary, they're going to need it. Final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. Their own 26-yard line. He'll take the knee, and the final couple seconds will tick by in this first half. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. Titans three. I am yawning. I'm gonna run around and hurt you. Joseph. 
Jefferson. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. On the return, Phillips. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Mixon will get it to start the second half. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He was tackled. Vic Beasley able to make the tackle. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stopped the run. Again, it's Mixon. That was it. Mixon gets the longest carry of the game. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. <laughs> First down, here's Burrow. There's a short one caught by Uzama. Burrow, five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. <laughs> Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Bernard getting the handoff. Bernard getting He's his longest first down. Hell yeah, the game. The -yard line. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll run it here with Bernard. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They've not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. 46-yard line. Second and 11 now. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Mixon gets a first down now. Mixon's on a wall today. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Throwing now, Burrow on first down on the screen. A good block. Hard. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets a made. To Giovanni Bernard. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Me too. Looked like it was coming. I thought together. it was going to break Looked like there was an big opening. Too. Still, ended but. up with a solid game. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Carry for Bernard. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans' 18 yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here's Bernard. 
And he gets it down. Last close year ended 27 to 10. Dolphins. Seven yards on the pickup. And the there, and last game was the Dolphins. 10 to 17. Broncos. That's the number five. Wait, wait, wait. Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Fumble! Is it him? Water is water. Now Burrow loses the football. What a bit of disaster on second down, but good thing the Bengals came up. That's it. And my thing is all I get. Let's go, so shut up. At least they got Thank it to you. have another shot. Or no, they won't have another shot. It's going to be fourth down. Maybe they can at least salvage three. And they were thinking six points because at this position of the field, it's go time, right? You take your shots at the end. I don't touch it! Bengals! Never you baby baby bangles. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. What are they gonna do? He'll go go for the end zone point, make it a ten point game, or try to make it an eleven point game. Burrows pass from nineteen yards away. And the Bengals they widen their lead. Cincinnati. Randy on for the point after is Randy Bullock. We're going to go for the extra point. And it's up and good to make the score 13 to 3. A pretty What's long it? drive that time. 11 plays all told. What is that? And it ends with a Bengals score. Are we about to get another upset? I'm not controlling anyone. I'm not doing anything about this. This is just all the game. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, like they're I down thought, a little I bit bigger, would be. but no time for discouragement. Okay. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder favorite. against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were. And there we go. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's Tannehill. And he slips up past the four before being tackled. By the tight end. yards on the play, first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Nice guy. 
Six minutes left in game time. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, okay. here's Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. Out. He showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10 point deficit. It's second and inches at the 44 yard line. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Derrick Henry. Warning. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals 35. That was not he even close. Talking to me. Don't well, fall yes, away from it. Game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Okay. He dumps it off for Henry. Henry! He'll get the first down and Henry! Henry almost a touchdown! He died. That would have been amazing. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. A oh, great play. Just kept on going in a stiff form of a lifetime. Definitely first in the first goal, step they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. I can't. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Wide now open, A.J. Brown, Brown, touchdown! Tennessee. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved oh, with that. Good. And he puts it through there within three. It's 13 to 10. And the result in the end, the Titans touchdown. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Kick off is the way to the Bengals. Bengals are going to return it from a couple yards deep. And, and he gets it at 29. What of a time. The 30 yard line. Darius Phillips on the return. The Bengals take over first and 10. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. <laughs> now Burrow. <laughs> Throw left side complete. It's Boyd. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 33-yard line. If you can hear me, like the video. Burrow looking to pass. 
There's a short one caught by Uzama, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And they get a touchdown. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The fourth it's quarter here, they got by the three lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep but, the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. On second down, here's Burrow. And his throw is incomplete. The tight end, C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Catching it again, boom. Is nobody saying Kabo? Yeah, that play is blown up. Kabo? Yes, we go, Kabo. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football. No miracles yet. So when it came back, everyone who has the lead on their game has always held it. So maybe they can hold it if they love the upset. Getting to the ball. Oh, oh, it's so close. It's cool, man. It's cool. He'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets kabooed at the 20-yard line. Officially. A pick six would over. end it. So now a pick would end Down it, basically. 13, 10, remaining. They'll have one play, maybe two, before the two-minute warning as they've got a first down. On first down, it's Tannehill. This one caught by Davis. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. The pickup brings up second and two at the 31-yard line. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Uh, it's good, but he went out of bounds. What a completion of the game, and that play was a pick. Good body reported. Catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it, but drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't happen at contract time. Quick slant to Brown. That gets him the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. For a Tennessee Titan. First, first down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll look to throw. Goes underneath for Henry. Which is lower. Comment below. Yeah, it's near whole total. Timeout. An injured player. Well, he gets attended to. He'll step aside. minute 27 seconds left Bengals get a pick it's over there's no way the Titans will come back that way and hold so them on all plays now Tannehill he'll get this one complete to Davis 
Good play. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there at a first down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock. And I'm it's looking at the clock. One clock minute left. Well. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. A minute left. It's caught. Tannehill with a throw caught by Brown. You need to stop calling timeouts. He's got this down to the 35. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Hardy got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. If they can kick a field goal, that would be huge. First down now, but that clock rolling. <laughs> Tannehill now to throw. Caught. Out inbound. To right to Gonna be tackled inbound. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. There you go. The Titans gonna use the first of their timeouts. As a stop if the Titans can score, this game would be over. First and ten at the 16-yard line. They'll have whoever wins will have a pretty easy matchup against the Broncos. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and ten. He's back to throw. Hot. Inbound. To Smith. Time out. Titans. What will happen on this play? The Bengals win. Broncos get home field advantage. Titans win. Titans get home field advantage. And the Bengals would play the Ravens in Baltimore. And the Baltimore will play the 10th game against the loser this game. Second and two, first down marker at the five yard line. And off. There's a flag, that's huge. The huge flag. It's holding. That's a 10 yard penalty. But they're back at the 7 13 yard line. That is huge. Second and eight. What will happen? Hand off. 17 seconds. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Timeout. Titans will use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. What will happen? Field goal would get the tie. They need. I think they could be trying for the touchdown for 11 seconds. But if it gets incomplete, oh, they catch it, but don't so get it. Maybe the biggest I seen the kickoff. The I seen the kickoff. going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Are they gonna go for the touchdown after they're gonna try to ice him? So now one of the biggest the ice kicks him. of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is indeed good. good. It's good. It's good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Who will get the ball to play? Stop the extra period is my question. They miss it this entirely. What do you do? Squid? Squad kick? Well, if good field position that they could go a touchdown, or do you do the main kick, kick it downfield, and have them to try a miracle? All what do you do? All as he sends this one away. That's a long kick. That's a good one. And able to get this across the twenty. Five seconds. What do you do? Hail Mary, try to win it for near and send it to overtime. We actually may have to start a new one. Multiple for this episode. The Bengals drive about to get going. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and, and win it there. We're going but to you know, overtime. In the booth, 
Take some gambles. I say let's go for this thing. Try and push it and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a Bengals touchdown, they don't. We can still we'll have some see. more football. We'll see. They're gonna. Exactly what they're right. gonna do? They're gonna to look to a see. The other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So. I don't know how long I've been recording this. It's not so, a time ball game so it's 8:20, and right. I started recording at. It's almost been an hour. On the return, Phillips. Phillips. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Over first and 10. At their own 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about Holy to get going. Holy God, going. Cincinnati. The first drive here in Not overtime. ready. And this is where well, the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing, because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. What did he do on second and one? Burrow going to fake to mix Faking. it and now look to throw. It's incomplete. incomplete. Could have been a big play if he cooked up on that. Could have been a first down and a little bit. First down and more. Nice he could have actually been to like the 20 yard line that would have gave them a and for them to do so that, do the exact same thing on defense pressure in the quarterback's face good coverage of not just the the wide receiver the tight end, it's caught the they try and slip out if this game sure goes past one hour i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna tell you who won but i hope i can show you the entire game If it goes, why is it lagging? I want to show you this entire game through the fall. Stop lagging! Hi, Lid. Stop lagging. Catch and put the down marker back to one. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. What do you do on second and three? Play action for one. If you do one, do it outside and then try to get in the end zone as a throw. Launch it up to the close open guy. Makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run. You can see where the field goal range is. Once again, run it. Run it's a first down. Enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Ball carrier. Four yards the pickup, first down. They go with the ground game, pick up the first, now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality. I would throw the ball in this way, do a play action. Play, throw it deep. You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots open in the end zone. To right win now, the game, 19 to 13. To and now this first this how they're going to try to score a touchdown. On on it. Questionable. Be up at about the Questionable. Yard line. I'm ready to put the Bengals running. We'll lose to Denver. Broncos and the Titans will go back. We'll stay at home in Tennessee for the Ravens. They use great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. <laughs> and now they will throw it with Burrow. Caught. What a catch! Incomplete. It's green. Green catch, makes the catch. It's, third down. it's even like six more minutes until a my thing ends. Pick up on the play. And it's third down. This drive is the most important drive of the game. If they score, it will be a miracle, and the Titans will go back. We'll stay at home to play the Ravens. We'll have two straight upsets. Oh, and then we feel the way. Jamal. The first down here inside the 30. 
In field goal range. They are in field goal range. That is huge. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. But now, with um, one in field going, what do you do? I do a play action pass on this play. Mixon with a first down nope. carry. They'll get him to the ground at the 20. This pick offense. Up the it's about to upset the Titans. And we'll have to go to Denver to play the ball. Because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Caught. On the right side, caught by Green. He could have went outside had the game team. went off. That bothers me. Made at the nine. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Charles, okay. you get into these first overtime and goal. situations. That's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the it all well, that got destroyed. It's not the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. The Bengals could upset them. The Bengals are about to upset the Titans. I'm ready to write it. I'm getting ready to write the miracle. Done. Four minutes left. So about four minutes left. When a draw works, my thing it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Brings up second and goal at the 11 yard line. So they get pushed back to the 11. The 11. And here's second and goal. Mixing on the oh, outside. Right. And he'll take this one inside the Time team, out. down to the eight. 58 now, seconds left. What do you do? They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. What do you do? Third and goal at the, at the eight yard line. 58 seconds left. Do you try for the win? Or this do you go for the, or do you run the ball? Would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Looking left side, and he's got a man. At the six. What do you do? And he's going to be brought down just shy of Field the five goal. Field goal. Six. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding the You go for the win, or you go for the most the likely chance of winning. Oh, it's good. To think about it 16 to 13. The Titans have one chance to win the game. Titans, they're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go 40, down and kick 29 field, seconds. Decide, what yeah, do you do on the, the kick? Take the ball away, turn it over on downs. This game's over. Right music. Don't copyright me. Right the field goal now. To kick it away. Thank you. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the you are. The Titans take over first and ten. At their own the game the Titans is offense. 26 now. left, seconds left in overtime. The Bengals go to field goal. Hey, hey, hey. Not at all, because wow, that's actually well taken. Thank you, yeah, mom. Field goal, you but I'm hungry. Death, but you're also kicking off and giving the other team the ball with a chance to kick a field goal and beat you. Get the touchdown. Finish the game off. That has to be the mindset. We'll call it a gain of five. And it's a second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and.